Hi everyone, welcome to my vegetable and flower garden. It's a quite a large area and I did have a cleanup video that's going to follow this. But I wanted to go over how you get your garden ready. First of all, a nice fence would help. Not that it helped us. <laughs> we have a stray dog that keeps coming in eating our compost. It dug up my potatoes and ate it. But I'm going to go over everything, what we grow in here, when we plant it, and everything else. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, along the fence, I do some peach trees. They're beautiful color. They never get very large. I guess over here in the herb garden, that's the largest. So their leaves still let all the light necessary. And underneath, I grow tons of onions and marigolds along this fence to keep the bunnies away. They hate that. And all along here, I don't know if you could see them, these are all blueberries all along this fence. Now, I do circle gardening, as you can see. I did a video earlier, and I'll post it. You could see that you could keep the garden really tidy. And also it helps keeping it a little drier when it rains too much. So this is a beautiful combination. Here I grow sweet peas up here. And what I do is plants that I don't want to put out in the regular garden, I put in here and over winter. And wow, they're really pretty just here. And these are fruit trees and other trees that I put into the ground and later on I move them when they get bigger. So the good thing about this circle garden is I have the soil underneath and can you see this newspaper? I do lasagna gardening and that basically has the earth underneath then a layer of leaves let's say, newspaper, and then on top here I have two to three inches of compost. So it basically keeps the weeds out, keeps it moist. That um, newspaper is going to be gone in another two weeks. It'll just decompose. But it has deterred all weeds right now. Every now and then I have to pick some up. Um, I grow a lot of flowers in here. Why? One, they're beautiful. Two, I grow a lot of passion fruit, hops, and other things that need the pollinators. So these really help. I actually sell these at a local market. Not this year, obviously. This is um, bachelor's buns, and there's a great recipe with these flowers. They're very edible. Now, let's talk about perennials. I've kept perennials in here for years. So basically, this is asparagus beds and this funny looking thing. That's sorrel. It's great. It tastes like lemon. So I blend it and put it in curries and stuff. Oregano and a cute little bench. And um, over here in the earlier video, I did Oxeye, it's a Shasta Daisy, basically. Look at the asparagus. This is what it looks like. I grow these, I let it seed. It's got like 26,000 seeds. And then I dig it up and I sell them, or else I place them in other parts of the um, garden to get pollinators. This here, we had frost and I didn't take care of it. This is um, primrose, evening primrose. Here's some here that was protected a little bit. So I'm just going to let this be and see what happens. Okay, now, any garden you have to take care to keep pests away. And that means wild dogs in our case. So we have, he's only about this high. So I guess um, 18 inches. And it must be a female because my dog stopped and started sniffing it a, a lot. But she saw me and then took off, thank goodness. And um, she's dug up all my newspaper because there was still, I guess, some compost. Or she's checking to see if there's anything. I 
actually it's just good soil with some worms. So what can we do? First of all, oh, sorry, no lid. Hold on a minute. Can you see the crushed pepper? Normally I do the Dollar Tree one because it is, I'm just going to throw that on the ground. Um, because basically it's cheap. You're not going to eat it, but with the virus, we don't go out much. So all I do is just sprinkle it. I'm not going to do a lot because we're going to rain a lot. So when it's not raining, do this. And it will keep bunnies away. It will keep um, moles away. And my little half fox, half whatever it is. It's a cute little thing. I really want to catch it. I don't know if it belongs to somebody, but... And there's no collar, but we don't use collars either. I wouldn't want a collar around me. So, okay. I also grow a lot of onions all around. Why? Besides eating it, it helps keep bunnies away. Okay? Now, other things. I have this eight-foot fence. On this fence, I grow a lot of passion fruit, a lot of grapes, a lot of um, hops. Well, the hops is over here, and I'm going to do a whole video on taking care of hops. And I do kiwi. So you can see right here the varieties. See the kiwi coming up? It's all kiwi. But the passion fruit basically winds with the kiwi and it just covers this whole thing. And so this is basically a view of the circle gardening. Um, I grow some gladiolas that come back every year. Oh, you could see the dog was digging here too. So over here on the other side, this is all peas and beans, this fence. A lot of yarrow, great for teas. These are my strawberry beds. I have three I still have to weed through here, but I'm not worried about the weed. I grow a lot of Asian vegetables. So shishu comes in here. It's so invasive, any weeds are gone. Okay, these are my circle gardens. You can basically buy this, cut it, watch the video and you can see. And it'll keep everything organized. Okay, and that's all hops. But anyway, I'll show you the video how I cleaned it up. Every year, I just go through, I add more compost. Um, I grow a lot of herbs in here. It helps with um, our cooking, for one. But two, it keeps pests away. So, I just wanted to show you what a vegetable garden looks like. I hope you have a great time gardening. And watch the video. Hopefully, it will be attached to this. If not, I'll start a new one dogs already eating vegetables. All right, bye. Hi everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. I'm just um, going to clean up the garden a little bit. We're going to um, till it and every year, I don't know if you could see them, um, I have bachelor buttons and I usually sell them or donate them to the Kirkwood Garden Club for their plant sale. But um, this year obviously we're not having this. So I decided to move them around and also I have primrose to move, but um, I'm going to focus on that later. I have a great spot 
for the bachelor's bun. It basically makes a hedge. So up to my waist almost, blue flowers, incredible, and then they die back, you know, mid summer, maybe even early summer. Oh, this is a mess, you guys. I have so much work to do. So, um, let me show you where they're gonna go.